This clip demonstrates how to create and use an alarm list. To demonstrate this function, I've already created a loop counting from 1 to 10. For this video, we will start an alarm if the value is higher than 5. If the value drops back under 5, the alarm will be set back automatically. To work with an alarm list, we need to create an alarm server first. Therefore, switch to the data point dialog. Select the folder Alarm in the CEA709 port, click the right mouse button and create a new alarm server. Now choose your data point with the right mouse button and select Create Alarm Condition. Type in an alarm message, a clear message and a high limit of 5. Click Save Changes to end the configuration. We have prepared our alarm server and configured our alarm condition. By clicking the Close button, we can switch back to the main menu. Select your page, click the right mouse button and add an alarm list. To change the size of the list, just drag it by clicking on the right lower corner. In the sub-menu Alarm Lock Control, you can choose the appearance of time and date and you can select if and how much data will be recorded. In the sub-menu List Entry Setup, you can arrange order and content of your alarm list. Customize as needed. To connect the alarm server with this alarm list, click the right mouse button and select Add Data Point. Choose the predefined alarm server and confirm by clicking the Select button. Write the project to the device and check the proper functioning. The display should look like the one you can see now. Every time the value is higher than 5, an alarm will be triggered. If the counter jumps back to 1, the alarm will be cleared. In this example, we should see every 10 seconds a new alarm in the alarm list.